OK， 呃，我们继续。Next， 我要讲到的就是 hydrometer。OK， 呃、uh, ，for hydrometer， now hydrometer， 呃、uh, ，它是 is a device that is used to measure the relative density。OK， 呃、uh, ，use it is used to measure relative density， or you we call it a specific gravity。OK， so let relative uh density， what does it mean？ Relative means uh in comparison to。All right. In comparison to, uh, we are comparing the density of the substance that we want to measure. Compare it to the what, uh, the density of water. Okay. So meaning that we use the water as the reference. For example, for example, the formula. This one, ah, uh, the formula for this is, uh, S G. I just write specific gravity, lah. Okay. S G meaning that the relative density equals to the density of the liquid that we want to measure. Divided by the density of the water, H two O. This is specific gravity. Okay, so meaning that, for example, if your liquid ah, the density is one thousand kg m minus three. What is the specific gravity? One thousand. So S G one thousand divided by one thousand. Water is also one thousand, right? So you get one. So Sg is one, meaning that it is equal to the density of water, right? So if the density of the liquid that you measure is two thousand, so if you divide, then Sg you get two, meaning that it is two times greater than the density of water. Okay. So, uh, in other words, you can think of specific gravity as how many times it is greater than the density of water. Okay, so if S G is four, meaning that it is four times greater than the density of water. If it's zero point five, what does it mean? Zero point five is like half of half of a time denser than water. Okay, so understand that. So again, ah, S G is five, meaning that it's five times denser than water. Okay, now back to the hydrometer. So hydrometer, ah, 它看起来像这样子。I draw it out, ah, like this. Here you have a tube, and this tube at the bottom also you have a a a bigger tube, right? A bigger tube like this. If you look at the textbook, ah, here actually the 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 top tube is very uh tiny, lah. It's very tiny. I just write to show you the the because I want to write the scale in it. Okay. So at the bottom here you have a lead. Or uh, 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 any water, any solution, lah. Okay, this is just to keep it upright. Okay, so if you put it in the water, this is just to keep it upright, floating upright. Okay, so this one we put inside the beaker, the water. Okay, let's say this is the water. And then it floats, right? It floats. It floats, and if you put it in water, this reading, ah,、uh, the scale here, it will read one point zero. Okay, so so actually this one they have the scale at the side line, then all the scale here. So you will see that one point zero is in line with the level, the surface of the water. Okay, now let's look at the formula first. This one, we know that F B F B 等于 rho V G 对不对 ？F B 等于 rho V G. So again F B Divided by rho, the Vg, so density and volume. I want to see the relationship. So as volume decreases, 
density increases. Okay, so meaning that if you look at this hydrometer, when the hydrometer floats like this, okay, I draw the diagram out. Let's say this is the Okay, this is the water here. Okay, let's say you put it in liquid X. Okay, you put it in liquid X and then it floats. Okay, it floats and the submerged section, the volume of the submerged section uh, decreases. Okay, meaning that this high here, H1, I just label it H1, is less than H. Okay, where is H? H is, let's say, when you put in the water, when you put in water, then this is H. The reference height, the reference height, okay, H. So if H1 is lesser than H, okay, so meaning that the volume of submerged section become less, right? So automatically, you, automatically you know that this liquid X has a higher density than water, right? The density is higher because of the volume of the submerged become lesser. So meaning that if you put the hydrometer inside liquid X, you'll see that where is the reading one? One is at here at the top. And maybe this one is 1.2. Okay, so we can hydrometer just we can the level of the surface of water as the pointer. Okay, if it falls on 1.2, then this liquid, the density of this liquid is 1.2 times denser than water. Okay, now same if you put it in liquid, say liquid Y, and then it sinks deeper. Liquid Y, it sinks deeper. So this is the 1.0 mark. And maybe this is the 0 0.9 mark. Okay. It lines up with the 0 0.9 mark. So what does this tell you? It sinks, since it sinks deeper, right? So the volume of the submerged increases. Right? So meaning that the density decreases. So this liquid Y has a lower density. Has a lower density compared to water and liquid X. Okay. So you, this makes the design of the hydrometer. This is the, I, I draw it again. This is the hydrometer. Okay. So the design, this is 1.0 here. So when going down the scale, you should see that it increases 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.8. And when going up the scale, it decreases 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and so on. Okay. Okay, you can uh, snap it or jot down everything. And then I'll show you one example of uh, the hydrometer questions.
Let's look at this example. Okay, a hydrometer is used to measure specific gravity of a liquid. A particular hydrometer is 40 cm in length. When placed in pure water, 30 cm of the hydrometer is submerged and it reads 1.0. Okay, we can put it in Now, when submerged in pure water, so this is, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say this is the hydrometer. And this is the water. So here it reads 1.0000. And the length of the hydrometer here, this one is 40 cm, right? 40 cm. And 30 cm is the submerge here. 30 cm. Now, first, A. What is the density of the hydrometer? hydrometer density. Okay, now hydrometer is used like swan liquid density, but in this case, we first we find the density of the hydrometer itself. Now, how do we find the density of the hydrometer? First, identify, use the formula. Since the hydrometer is floating, so floating, what does it mean? FB weight of the object weight of the hydrometer lah. okay now let's expand the equation buoyancy the equation is a uh, rho vs g vs type of volume of submerged equals to the weight of the object is the mass of the object times the gravitational constant right okay from here i can just cross out the g and this one Rho, uh, rho vs equals to the mass of the hydrometer i can express it into the density of it times the volume of the object because we have mass a density equals to mass divided by volume mass of the object divided by the volume of the object okay now from here Volume, let's explain, eh, explain, let's expand the volume. So I have density of the liquid, the density of the water. And then this Vs, uh, the volume of the submerged section, uh, I can expand it as the area times the area times the length of the sub submerged section, right? Because area times length is volume. Uh, so it equals to, this one is the same, density of the object. And then the area times the length of the object. Now, now I cross out the area because it's the same object, so same area. Only the length is different. So from here, what do I do? I get this equation. Density of the liquid, the length of the submerge, density of the object, and the length of the object. So can you find the density of the Object. Yes. Let's see the object. Let's see the liquid. Divided by LO. Okay. So 1000 is the water density times the length of the submerge is uh, 0 0.3. Okay. You can just take uh, 30 divided by 40. So that gives you 750 kg m jian sang. This is the density of the hydrometer. So it is less dense than the water, of course, right? Because it needs to flow. <clears throat> okay, so this is A. How about B? Let's do B. Now, when placed in alcohol, 38 cm of the hydrometer is submerged beneath the alcohol. What is the density of the alcohol? Okay, let's draw it again. Okay, so this is water. Ah. So now I place it in alcohol. And it, it sinks lower, right? It sinks lower. 
So let's say this is the this is the this is alcohol. Okay, so it sinks lower, meaning that uh, one your one mark is down below here. Okay, so let's label the distance. This one is the submerged, and it becomes thirty eight cm increase thirty eight cm, and we know the original length of the hydrometer. Okay, so what is the density of the alcohol now? Now you want to find the density of the liquid that it measures. Okay, so how do we find that? We use the same equation here. Here is what we have derived, right? Here. So we we'll bring this up here. Liquid density of liquid L equals to the length of this one and density J. Okay, so to find the alcohol. It is the density of liquid L equals to density of the object times the length of the object divided by the submerged length. Okay, so this one is chi by alcohol density, by kg m This is the answer, right? Okay, so in Ikana, Zelio, Naka hydrometer the density is cheap by user. Now, Naka alcohol the density is cheap by juice. Lugo, Naka alcohol the density is tango and hydrometer than Zamaban. 那个hydrometer就会沉进去了,对不对?所以意思是说,since这个hydrometer它的density是750,它只可以measure liquid up to a density of 750,okay? Meaning that the, the, the liquid that it measures cannot have a higher density than itself.No, sorry, cannot have a lower density than itself. Okay, so let's say if the alcohol density is like uh, 7, 740, is lower than 750, right? So the hydrometer will completely sink to the bottom. So it's, it's like not useful, I like cannot measure, right? So the limit is at 750. Okay, the limit is at 750. So it depends on what type of hydrometer it is and depends on the density of the hydrometer itself. All right, not all hydrometers suitable for all types of liquid. It depends. Okay, okay, so let's look at the last question. Uh, C. Look at the last question. What is the reading of the hydrometer when it's in the alcohol? So now we want to find what is the reading on the scale. Uh, on the scale. So this is uh, not straightforward. So we know that specific gravity equals to the density of the liquid divided by density of the water, right? So we just calculate uh, the ratio chi pi juicer to each end. 就是零点七九零. This is the specific gravity. So meaning that here, here, you will see that the surface of the alcohol is in line with zero point seven nine zero zero. This is the answer. Specific gravity may you need na, in which answer ratio is. 所以那个units是 cancel off each other now. Okay, uh, you can take a snap snapshot of this.
OK， 我呃再 create 多一个 link， 然后你们再进播，然后我要讲蛮多，呃不不久，只讲多两个 example，then I can give you the exercise。